Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent scentsy consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today with a, another first sniffs video. Um, we have a like annual collection um, with the Epcot, with our Disney collaboration um, that scentsy has been doing for a couple years now. Um, so they did just recently release, um, I think it was on March 4th, um, the new Epcot collection. Um, so there are six fragrances um, that will be available in this collection for a limited time. Um, three are returning from last year's Epcot collection, and then three are brand new. So I was able to grab um, the three brand new ones, and then my mom actually has um, all three of the past scents in her club so i went to her house and i grabbed um them because she had them so kind of saved me on having to buy all of the collection i just kind of just grabbed what was on her shelf from what was returning and then just um got the three that i didn't have that were new um with my party rewards i was able to get them at half off which was ideal because I love reviewing the new guy, new things for you guys and for myself because, you know, I always want to try out a fragrance to see if I'm going to like it, but I'm not about spending all my money on Sunsy. I really am not. Like, I've got so much stuff that I need to worry about and, like, home improvement projects and things that I just want to buy for myself and the kids that if I can spend as little as possible on these, like, limited time offerings to try them out and share them with you guys, the better, so... Um, so this collection is available currently. It is available on my website, wicklesscandles.sensi.us, or your consultant's website, or your website if you're a consultant. Um, nothing sold out, so currently you can get the six bars. You can buy them individually, and then there is a three-pack of the new um, scents that you can get for $17. And then they do have the scents that were available last year. Um, heirloom rose mint fields and soft plumeria you can actually get these in fragrance flower form and each of the fragrance flowers is the, the actual flower so like mint fields it's a mint leaf soft plumeria it's a plumeria petal and rose is a rose which is pretty cool and they are the colored oil um which is like the biggest rave that sensi has got going on with these fragrance flowers um so i did not get any of those um, I just have the wax bars. So we'll get right into it. Um, so we'll start off with the three that came back um, from last year's Epcot collection. Um, so we've got Mint Fields. Um, this one came back. Um, this one is Spearmint Leaves, Peppermint, and Crisp Greens. So to me, this literally smells like Spearmint Wrigley's gum with like an herbal tone to it like it's definitely medicinal it's a medicinal scent but it also is a little bit sweet because of that spearmint and the peppermint but the crisp greens definitely come off as herbaceous so it's not bad um i feel like this is really good i've mixed it with a couple of like different floral um bars that i've had like i did flower shop one time and i think i've mixed this even with um, perfect peppermint to just elevate the peppermint on it. It's not bad. I feel like if you like minty scents, especially if you liked Mojito Mambo, I think this is like the closest like comparison to this scent would be like Mojito Mambo, but it's not bad. It was like an average performer from what I can remember. Um, lasted about a day, medium on throw, medium on performance. Um, definitely a good mixer for other floral and overall, it was an all right sign. I feel like it would do well in the fragrance flower. Um, I feel like it might be even a tad stronger in fragrance flower. But can't say that for sure because I've never tried it But in the fragrance flower. But we'll see. Okay. And then the other one that came back was Heirloom Rose. This one was Fresh Air, Garden Rose, and a Sprig of Lush Greens. So I do like rose scents. This was one that was a touch too strong for me. Um, so it's definitely authentic rose. It's definitely like a perfume rose. Not so much a body care rose, but definitely like a perfume rose. Like an older rose perfume, rose body lotion that, you know, your grandmother would have. 
Like it's a, definitely a mature rose scent. And I think that's why I can't handle it. It's very strong. It is a, it's not a powerhouse, but it is a stronger floral and it is on the headache inducing side, at least for me. My mom absolutely loves it. She pairs this with Flower Shop all the time. And Flower Shop is basically, it's supposed to me like um, baby's breath. And it was like in a bring back your bar like a couple rounds ago. Um, but if you love rose scents, if you're missing like Simply Rose, um, if you liked Rosewood and Freesia, you probably would like this one. But like I said, it is heavy on the rose, so you do have to like rose in order to appreciate this scent. And no, it is nothing like Twilight. Because <laughs> I know Twilight smells like rose. This is nothing like Twilight. And really the crisp, the lush greens, I'm really not getting much with that or the fresh air. It's mostly rose. And then the other one that came back was Soft Plumeria. Nice yellow color. Um, this is Pink Plumeria with Sweet Apple and Teakwood. Now this one's nice. This one I did like. I did not club it though, only because my mom clubbed it. But I do like the apple note in here and the Plumeria is really, really nice. It's the same Plumeria note that's in Plumeria Peach, which I absolutely love Plumeria Peach. And the teak wood kind of just brings like a depth and sophistication -ness to the bar. But it's a really good performer. Average, medium. It does last about a day and a half usually if I stick it in a smaller space versus like a big living space like this. Um, but this one is really nice. And I'm almost tempted to put this on my wish list to get in a fragrance flower. Um, just because out of the three that are returning, this was the one I like the most. So... All right, now we got some fresh sniffs because I have not sniffed these three new ones. So they did create three new fragrances to go along with the three that they returned. And this one right here, I've got two that I'm like super intrigued on. The Garden Fresh Gardenia and the Glorious Grapefruit. These are the ones I'm the most intrigued by. So we'll hold off on that just a second. But Hibiscus Sunset is one of them. And this one is tangy pineapple juice, peach nectar, and tropical hibiscus. What is up with all the freaking pineapple? I really think they have an abundant amount of pineapple oil left over from like COVID or what have you. Because it seems like almost everything has pineapple in it. Follow the Rainbow Bar had pineapple in it. I don't know. There's so much stuff with pineapple. All right, let's see. So we've got tangy pineapple juice, peach nectar, and tropical hibiscus. Let's hope it is not overripe pineapple and doesn't smell like rotting fruit. Cross our fingers. Okay, good. It does not smell like rotting fruit. Okay, good. Okay, the pineapple juice is really, really good here. So this like confirms to me that that golden pineapple that they describe is the one that smells like rotten fruit. And pineapple juice does not do that to me, so. And I do get peach in here. I do like the combination of the pineapple and the peach together. That's really sweet. It's really fresh. It's bright. And there's like a sweet floral on the back end with the hibiscus. But it is a tropical scent. I actually really like this one. This is not bad. It is very similar in profile to other Scentsy scents. So on creativity, I don't think Scentsy was very creative with this one. Because, I mean, pineapple and peach and tropical hibiscus, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. But I feel like if you liked Aloha Orchid, if you like hibiscus pineapple, um, if you liked the Follow the Rainbow Bar from the St. Patrick's Day collection, if you liked Street Parade from the Mardi Gras collection, those are all scents that are somewhat similar, almost on the same profile as this hibiscus sunset. But I feel like it's more... It's got more tropicalness than like Street Parade or Follow the Rainbow because of that tropical hibiscus that it leans more towards the hibiscus pineapple and the aloe um, orchid. Alo yeah, aloha orchid. That's what I wanted to say. Um, but this is actually really nice. I feel like it's going to be a medium on performance and strength. But this is really, really good. I am actually surprised I like this as much as I thought I was going to. I thought this was going to be like the one I liked the least. 
because I really don't care for hibiscus pineapple, but I love Aloha Orchid, which that was a much stronger scent in comparison to hibiscus pineapple. I can actually see myself warming this quite a few times this summer. Is it club worthy? I don't know yet. I have to warm it to find out. Um, but this is actually a pretty good scent. So, okay. Glorious grapefruit. I am so happy to have more grapefruit scents. I love grapefruit sunshine. That's my absolute favorite grapefruit scent by Scentsy other than Be Fabulous. Be Fabulous has limoncello and grapefruit, so it's a little bit of both. It's more of like a overall citrus scent, um, but true grapefruit scents are very few by Scentsy. Like they, they don't come every, like it's a once in a blue moon that they make a grapefruit scent. So this one is described as freshly squeezed pink grapefruit, juicy orange, and a sprig of green leaves. So let's see. Yep, this is good. I like this one. It's definitely fresh cut ruby red grapefruit. Like if you were to take a ruby red grapefruit and slice it in half and like the little juice like spritz in your face. I definitely got orange in here. Oh, that's good. Mm, this is gonna be a good mixer with like all our other citrus scents that we got in the catalog. Lemon sorbet, squeeze the day. You could probably even mix this with the peach and grapefruit mimosa. So if you're trying to figure out what's the difference between this and peach and grapefruit mimosa, which is available in the Easter collection, peach and grapefruit mimosa to my nose and my experience warming it so far is that it's very sharp and very tangy and it's more of like a white grapefruit um, versus a ruby red grapefruit. This is a ruby red grapefruit. And the orange is cutting down on that sharpness that you would get from a grapefruit, which I can appreciate. I feel like the peach and the vanilla that's in peach grapefruit mimosa doesn't do a good enough job cutting down the sharpness and the tanginess of that scent. That scent's all right. It's a great performer. Great performer. It throws. You can put it in open concept. It lasts for days. It's definitely good on the performance, but I feel like in order for someone to thoroughly enjoy it, you have to like that sharp grapefruit notes that you find in like white grapefruit oil. Um, where this one is a little bit dialed back, I think this will be more enjoyed by the general public um, than peach grapefruit mimosa. So I am happy about this one. Um, citrus scents, usually they'll like start off with a bang and then they die down really quick. Um, so I'm curious to see how this performs against grapefruit sunshine, which I do have. And I might even try warming this um, with Be Fabulous and do a mix there um, just to see if I like that one. Cause I don't have grapefruit sunshine clubbed. I don't, I have one bar and that's it. Um, so if this one performs better than grapefruit sunshine, then I don't have to buy that bar anymore and I can just club this one, but we'll find out. But so far this, this met my expectations. So I'm happy with that. And then last but not least, Garden Fresh Gardenia. We know I love my Gardenia. Lush Gardenia is like my favorite heavy perfumey floral. I love that one. Um, so I'm curious to see how this is going to perform against that. So Sensi describes it as an intoxicating essence of Gardenia petals with fresh air and a garden of lush greens. So let's see. Mmm. No, it's not my Lush Gardenia. Okay, so this is not a powerhouse like Lush Gardenia. Like Lush Gardenia is like smacking the face. Let me hit your brain with the Gardenia note. Like that's how strong it is. This is very diluted. You still get the Gardenia, but it's nowhere on like the same level as Lush Gardenia on cold. You definitely get more of like the Lush greens, but unfortunately the fresh air note that's in here is similar to that marine air that I smell in twilight. And this is completely turning me off this scent. Yeah. It's that same weird oceanic air that's in twilight. I can't do this one. I'll warm it just to give you guys like an ex you know experience. Maybe it's completely different. Maybe it goes away. I have no idea, but on cold, 
the fresh air note is reminding me too much of Twilight that I just want to chuck this in the trash. <laughs> Which is so bad to say, but whatever. But I can appreciate the Gardenia not being as strong as Lush Gardenia because for those that do like Gardenia but couldn't handle Lush Gardenia, then this would be a good one for you to try if you do like Gardenia scents but can't handle a strong, heavy, perfumey one. So... Yeah, that fresh air note. I don't like it. Nope. Okay. So, like I said, for the three that are returning, the one I really, really liked was South Plumeria. Um, that one I liked the most out of these three. And also with South Plumeria, if you're missing out on, like, sun-soaked petals or soaking rays that didn't return, or even here comes the sunflowers, I feel like grab yourself a bar of South Plumeria just to try it this, this spring and summer. But for the newer scents, I am so surprised that I actually loved Hibiscus <laughs> Sunset and Glorious Grapefruit. I kind of had, you know, an inkling that I would like this one just because of my scent profile. I love citrus. Citrus is my favorite category and I love grapefruit scents. Um, so it was like a no brainer. I was going to like this one. Um, but this I was actually surprised on. The pineapple and peach in here is so lovely. And then the hibiscus really like brings it like it ups the tropical vibe. Yeah, this one's really good. But I'm super sad on the Garden Fresh Gardenia because I really thought I was going to like this one because I love Gardenia and Lush Gardenia is like my jam. And I wasn't even trying to like disappoint myself because I told myself if this scent smelt and performed better than Lush Gardenia, then I could just kick it out of my club, you know, and have this one in there for, for a good bit. But I can't get over that fresh air note. It smells too much like Twilight. And the more I'm smelling it, the more it's coming out. I'll warm it. Hopefully it changes on warm, but I don't have high hopes. But that's it. That's the Happiness Blooms collection, which is our 2024 Epcot International Flower Festival collection or whatever. Um, like I said, all the bars here, you can buy individually for $6 each. You can bundle and save them and do like six for 30. Um, or you can buy just the three new ones in a three pack bundle for 17. So there's a couple of way, different ways to purchase this. And like I said, these three scents, the Soft Plumeria, Mint Fields, and Heirloom Rose are all available in fragrance flowers. Um, so definitely check those out if you're into the fragrance flowers and want to try those out. It's all limited time. So get it while you can. Get it when you want to. And before the collection ends, if any of these scents you love and don't want to be without once the collection goes away definitely consider uh, starting a club or throwing these scents into your existing club so that way you can take advantage of the always get my bar perk this is amy your independent sunsy consultant thanks for watching liking commenting and subscribing and i'll talk to you in my next video bye